Hey, what's up, y'all? Another authentic verification, but as always, whenever you see the inside of ties up here above my head, it's a more detailed uh, authentic verification in that what we're going to do is look at the foundation of a shoe as well as the shoe itself. So we're going to go into the box, make sure we get that out of the way first. We got the black box, and this is the Kobe 1 Pro Tro. We got the sheath on the top with the Kobe signature. The back of the box is flagged. The side of the box is flagged. The bottom of the box, actually, typically the bottom of the box would be white, but on this Kobe Pro Tro, it's gray where the logos are on the side. All right, so let's see what else do we have that we'll look at. I'm going to flip this open real quick just to see what the inside of the box looks like. And we don't have a stamp that I can tell on the inside because it is a black box. And when we have these gloss black boxes, typically you don't get a stamp of any kind on the inside of it. But we got the Kobe Pro Tro. And I'm going to come back to the front of the box because... I know that's important as well, but I'm trying to make sure there are no stamps on the inside of the box as well. So just to double check that before we get into the actual shoe itself. The paper is just white, regular paper on the inside. Now the the box on the inside, that's not a stamp. What it is is just a print for the box, and the box says 17 MBK P20. And the, what I'm starting to realize is that a lot of the boxes, when they have these kind of codes on the inside of them, it tells you what shoe it is. So that's another way you can authenticate your shoe when it doesn't have a stamp for the QC check. All right. Um, let's get back to the main part of the box and get Kobe One Pro Tro. Size 10 and a half. Color is white, Del Sol, Varsity Purple, which is the last seconds. This is the last seconds version of the shoe. SRP is 175. The style code is AQ2728101. And the UPC for a size 10 and a half is 884-498-085905. And there's a 16 at the end. Make sure you guys get to see that part of it. Like I said, there's no stamp on the inside of the box, so I won't even get into that part of it. I will pick the shoe up and keep it right here in front of me. Since this one doesn't have a shoe insert, we can actually look deep inside of the shoe to see what's different. But we're going to go down the uh, website because you get it behind the design. Now, the shoe, when they first came out, obviously, um, Kobe, the shoe was a much more heavier shoe. And I remember that. As a matter of fact, I remember that completely, that it was much heavier than this shoe is. Now, they replaced the zoom, and it's from the forefoot. It's a full-length zoom. So it reduces weight on the shoe overall. I actually love the leather print on this. On this side, it looks like crinkled paper almost on the inside of the medial. And that swoosh is, um, I think that's a leather or it's a synthetic leather on the inside on that swoosh. But I want to do the 360. The first thing I'm going to get into is the fact that they talk about how, you know, he wore the Kobe one when he was, um, scoring 81 points on the Toronto Raptors. The Raptors get beat up on all the time. Um, if you go to the website or you look over here, you'll see a lot of the style cues that they went and you know updated for the shoe. One of my favorite things and details on this shoe is the back of it, where this cutout is for your ankle, and the fact that this part is padded. But let's get this 360 real quick. Make sure you guys get a good look at the shoe. Line those up. Because I have to get ready to pack and ship in a second. So there's your toe. There's the toe box. It's the top of the shoe. It's the left, lateral, right, lateral. Note the embroidered number eight on the shoe. Left medial, right medial outsole and the fact that this midsole is reinforced with carbon fiber you can see it through the swoosh underneath and then you can see it on the insides of the medial and the outside of the lateral means that the car the shoe definitely has a lot of stability the insole is perforated and I actually think these slots I think they're vented in a way 
but I'm not positive about that, so I won't say it completely. On the top of it, you see these stars that are on top of it. Now, I'm trying to see if any other cues are there that we typically want to talk about. I don't think the Kobe code showed up until the uh, Kobe 4. Kobe 5, I think it was Kobe 5, so you don't have the Kobe code here. Um, let's look on the back of the tongue, and on the back of the tongue, there's a signature. But there have been a number of the Pro Trolls to release, and this is the last seconds. And I think it's a fantastic update to a classic shoe. Look at the leather there. It's very similar to the leather that's on the inside panel here. I'm going to take a look at the aglets and see what's on here. And there's a swoosh on the aglets. And that's really it. Um, pull this out just to make sure there's nothing different on the inside of this shoe. And there isn't. So we've seen everything. And that is it. I'm going to put the link for this page on the side. And also, real quick, just to make sure you guys are aware, the Kobe Pro Tro is a part of the Think 16 pack. So you see it here in the picture for the Think 16 of the championships in which the final shoe in basically the final seconds under Brian's 2006 Game 4 performance drops April 14th. Now, I was talking Raptors, but the game four was against Phoenix. But the Think 16, the final shoe, the 16th shoe, will be delivered during the NBA finals. I'm sure they'll end up on sneakers or something like that. But that's it. Um, hopefully you guys appreciated that. It's a good quick one, and that's a wrap. See you guys on the next one.